Yo, 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 it's Dan DeFi. Today we're going to talk about, we're actually going to do a reply video to a video I saw posted. It's uh, from from the Adam Bergman show, and uh, it's called Algorand vs. Hedera, and he he really believes, <laughs> he really believes that Algorand is better. I, I don't know, man, I made some comments, but I, I just wanted to reply, uh, just to post a reply because, man, I, I just can't believe this. Uh pretty interesting stuff so i'm not to promote fud um i'm not going to fud algorand but uh i i do think uh and i i i know for sure actually that there is a superior project and technology and a lot of what this guy states um he talks a lot about hbar itself and not the back-end technology so um that's one thing that we really got to be considerate of um in this video so let's jump into it so here he is this is uh uh, Adam Bergman, I guess, and here's his uh, here's his show here. Here, I can actually get a little bit bigger for you guys. Um, actually, um, I'll just kind of put him over here. So yeah, let's watch this. Can anybody compete with what I say? Nobody could. So I got a comment today. H bar is better than Algorand. Okay. Let me debunk this, and I'm going to start a series. The next time somebody says that their blockchain or their technology is better than Algorand, I'm going to break it down and kill you in less than 10 minutes. You ready for this? Less than 10 minutes. Okay. Algorand, the current market cap, $2.5 billion, HBAR, $1.8 billion. Both of them are Market great cap really doesn't matter. We know that. Deals. Hands down. I mean, that's just one, HBAR that's just one can do dynamic of price. Per second. Algorand can do 1,206 trans... So he knows that Hedera does 10K TPS, and Algorand isn't even there yet, guys. They're not even there yet. Transactions per second, soon to be 10,000 transactions Soon to be, so clearly Hedera's already fast. This year, so I'm going to give the edge to HBAR right now. However, I am going to say both HBAR and Algorand only process around less than 20 transactions All per right, second let's get into on the next blockchain. point. So we brought up right speed now. already. So it doesn't really matter. But I'll give the slight edge to HBAR until the end of this year when it's going to be absolutely even. Finality. Currently, Algorand does it in 4.5 seconds. And at the end of this year, it's going to be 2.3 seconds. So 4.5? says that they do it between 3 to 5 seconds. 3 to, to 5. There, this is pretty much on par, just like transactions per second. So yeah, so Hadera is basically still ahead, the right? Past, but They're at 4.5. We start at 3. Here. But so far, so. they match up perfectly. HBAR uses something called a hydrograph, which is a form of a DAG. Hydrograph. I don't know if that's it's the right. It's not exactly a blockchain the right technology, terminology. and it's uh, it's I forgot the technology called like rumor to rumor. We're basically no, it's gossip to gossip protocol, buddy. Data going one point to another. I wrote the comments, skip guys. Points, and that's how it directly. I wrote it in the comments. Look at this. But I made some comments. We got three simple, likes already on the comments. Go like, go like ledger, my comment here on this video. Ledger technology. Energy usage, H bar. Energy use is point zero zero zero. Yeah, we use less than the Google WH, search, which is super efficient. However, one transaction on H bar uses less than one Google search in terms of power. For Algorand is point zero 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 eight kWh. It smokes H bar in energy use, but both uh, transactions no. Ah, uh, is that true though? I mean, let's let's just look if that's true, guys. I don't know. If, I I don't know if I want to believe that. Um, Algorand uh, uh, energy per transaction. Here we go. Uh, does it say? Uh, energy footprint, 10 largest Bitcoin. Oh, Solana, Algorand. Let's see. And Algorand. Market cap. And negligible. It doesn't even list it. Algorand. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't even list. Where'd he get the actual mount from? That's what I want to know. Well, let's go back to watching. Let's go back to watching his energy. points. So I'm going to give both of them a tie on that. So so far, 
and they're matched up pretty well. Everything is going, you know. Except for H bar already has the stuff, and a lot of what you said, Ugren still has to develop. They're not even there yet. How much so. does it cost to use H bar? How much does it cost to use Algorand? Algorand, 0 0.001 of an Algorand. Currently, the price would be 0 0.000 zero of a uh, of a cent. 0 0.00032 of a cent and H bar is 0 0.00004 of a cent. So basically you can use H bar and Algorand all day at less than a penny for using it all day long, but the edge does go to H bar. So far everybody's evenly matched and nobody has a real edge. How can you say that when we're right clearly now, ahead? Right? H bar created in 2007. How can you say that? Because Algorand still has to develop this stuff already. We're we're already there. Algorand created in 2019, which means Algorand has two years to catch up to H bar. But okay, mm. now this is where it's going to start getting interesting. ISO 222. This, this has nothing. What is to that? Do that is a finance language 2015. There's no, no point there. Algorand ISO if you guys want to learn about ISO 2022, go H read about it online. Just Google it. I'm not, I'm not even going to go to his point on that because Hedera it's enableable on Hedera. It's just not it's just not pre like a pre thing that you just have already. illiterate in the number one prime financial And he's trying to point out that oh because Hedera doesn't have it built in like as the thing already that it's gonna be used in two thousand twenty that algorithm's better. But in all actuality, Hedera you can use ISO two zero two two um it, it's enable five and so on and so forth. All I made that point on your debit cards, credit cards, ISO two hundred twenty two compatible. All financial money wire transfer. Okay, well, we'll just keep downfall going. for H bar and pretty much all the competition against Algorand. I'm being as honest as possible. The <laughs> fact is, H bar does not know ISO two hundred twenty two, which means it does not. Uh, know I don't know, dude. Language. We have a whole. We have a whole enterprise grade uh, governing council DAO, uh, the first of its kind. I'm pretty sure they understand financial standards, especially with FIS being on our uh, governing council, which is one of the oh, largest finance. payment That's a fact. Merchants I'm not making that up. That's not an opinion. World. H bar fails in this. But like, let's I go don't on. get it. Who founded H bar? H bar was founded by a guy called Lehman Baird. He's an American a uh, guy, computer scientist dude. and. He's a pretty smart dude. He's a pretty smart dude. Not much dude. else about him. Algorand was... So, did you see that? He makes no point to Dr. Lehman Baird, right? If you look at this, if you just type in Dr. Lehman Baird, like, we all know as H barbarians, like, here, let me switch to another view so you guys can actually see the screen. Um, uh, Dr. Lehman Baird is a co-founder of CTO of Swirls. With over 20 years of technology and startup experience, he held positions as a professor of computer science at the Air Force Academy, right? He helped build the U.S. missile defense system, right? And the technology behind that, him and his partner, Mance, right? They worked for the U.S. government. They both have super high up government backgrounds. And he's a professor and a doctor. He's Dr. Lehman Barrett. I, I don't know uh, where he came up with. He's just some American scientist guy. Uh, but... But that's just false news, right? This guy's... I, I don't know if I agree with this video so much because some of these points that he's putting out about Algorand and stuff are just simply... He's he's stating that it's behind, right? He's stating that it's behind in the video, but then the whole concept of video is Algorand's better. So, it's like... <laughs> Founded by I, I don't Samuel McCallie, a.k.a. the grandfather of encryption. So he goes on to talk about the founder of Algorand. If you guys don't know who he is, look it up. But the whole rest of the video, basically he talks about this guy's merit. Crypto systems, pseudo Dordan. And what this dude has done, right? That doesn't mean That's that. That's how you know Silver McCallum is a straight G. See? But it gets He's better. a straight. The inventor of HBAR. No awards that I could find. <laughs> Let's talk about Silvio McCalley. No awards that I could find, right? Like, you need awards to have a good project. Like, I'm just going to shut this off because this shit's just getting frustrating. Adam, uh, I don't agree with you. <laughs> Obviously, Hadir is way ahead. We have way more infrastructure for the future. Uh, a larger governing council. 
uh, or AB if T secure, which you, you didn't mention anything about security in your video, and you, my friend, are just spreading false news. Thank you for the 803 views on this video, but I don't know, man. I just don't agree. Don't agree at all with uh, your statements about Hedera. And I'm not trying to FUD uh, Algorand. I do think that the project, you know, obviously it does have some merit. Um, it's still around and it hasn't uh, gone out like some of these other projects. So, yeah. Um, thanks for checking out this video, guys. Um, if you don't know, uh, I'm Dan DeFi. And yeah, that was uh, that was pretty informational. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, this is a total reply video to his video. So if you guys got any advice or any feedback, uh, please put it in the comments. And have a good rest of the day, Dan Defy out.